My name is Rosa Mawarni and I'm a student of Pamulang University. So here, I want to explain about the historical background of psycholinguistics. So I will explain it in a simple explanation and based on my understanding. So psycholinguistics emerged in the world in 1951s and psycholinguistics is the combination of the two words they are psychology and linguistics. The psycholinguistics studies about the psychological and neurobiological factors that enable human to acquire, use, and understand the language. So, at the beginning of its development, psycholinguistics originated from the existence of linguists who interested in psychology. Wood is a father of experimental psychology, who built the first psychology laboratory in Leipzig, Germany, in 19th century. Wood also introduced the psychology in language, whose material isn't much different from what is discussed in psycholinguistics. And in psycholinguistics, there are four main topics also several subdivisions that I will explain after this. So check it out! So, in the type of psycholinguistics, there are four main topics that we will learn. The first is comprehension. That is the mental process that humans go through so that they can grasp what people say and understand what is meant. The second is production. That is the mental process that enables us to speak as we speak. The third is the biological and neurological foundations that make humans able to speak. And the last is acquisition of language, that is, how children acquire language. Beside the four main topics, there are also several subvisions in psycholinguistics which are based on the components that make up language in humans. The first is phonetic and phonology. In phonetic and phonology study speech sounds, in psycholinguistics, research focus on how the brain processes and understands these sounds. And the second is morphology. Morphology studies sentence structure, especially the relationship between related words and the formation of words based on rules. The third is syntax. Syntax studies the patterns that determine on how words are combined together to form the sentence. The next is semantics. Semantics deals with the meaning of the words or the sentence. When syntax deals with the formal structure of the sentence, semantics deals with the actual meaning of the sentence. The last is pragmatics. Pragmatics deals with the role of context in interpreting meaning. The study of how to recognize and read words examine that process involved in obtaining orthographic, morphological, phonological, and semantic information from patterns in writing.